So joining us this morning is uh, Kristen Ware, the show's promoter. Kristen, thanks for coming in. No, thanks for having yeah. us. Then you brought some really, really cool stuff this morning, right? We have some great, I mean, we always have great vendors, but this show really did look amazing last night when they were setting up. So it was so it fun is, to go and pick things. Yeah, it's so fun to come in here and see all these cool things. So let's go over a few of them. What about the cutting boards in the front? That's a magnet that holds the knife kind of in place, right? Yeah, holds it to keep it either out of your way or maybe out of the hands of little ones. And right. they can, they're so beautiful. They can be used as serving boards, cutting boards, anything. That's from C2 Woodworks. Uh, yeah, I started to say they're made locally. Uh, they're made in Arkansas, Arkansas, but all handmade from uh, timber and wood from Central Arkansas. And I would imagine that you are going to see a Christmas tree of every sort at a fair of the heart. Every sort. That one actually comes from Briar Patch booth and they had so many to pick from it was so hard to pick. Yeah. The other one from Two Hip Sisters and you can really find like, like you said any sort. Yeah Glitter, the metal one. Metal, That's really wooded. I'm going to pull this over just a tad so you can see it. It's really really cute. Yeah. They, okay. And let's talk about the baskets because this is what caught my eye the minute I walked in. These are from Kabibi Designs and they are designed locally but then created in Africa through some women's empowerment organizations where they give jobs, um, give skill training, different things for these women to then kind of empower themselves and forward their families and this things like that. This is so well made and it's got leather around the top if you can't see it there. And these aren't like purses, these are totes, right? So uh, you could they, put things in them. Mm -hmm, totes, baskets, they have some overnight bags. They really do have a good variety. This is really, really cool. And go ahead and tell us what the, the plate. Does the that have? plate, they have some different fun things, different holidays. They have some that say happy everything, but this one's a great little Thanksgiving plate if you need something to uh, display to next serve, week. From yeah, the, with. And you've got the Tom shoes there. Are they going to have others? Because those are hand painted oh, by a are. lady from I Bleed Heart. She hand paints the Tom. That's her canvas, essentially. She's a fine artist and she uses Tom's canvas as her canvas. And what's the, what's the story here? Hand painted cool. tumblers. You know, those are all the rage right now, and she hand paints those in um, cups and pixie dust. So the same lady does both of these. Uh, no, those are two separate ladies. Two separate but, ladies. But okay. both very, very talented. That's really spruced up. I don't, I'm not sure our camera's really catching that, but it's really cool looking. And really, you know, it's not going to peel off or anything. It's really, it's, it's really coated it's on there. Yeah. And the clothing, there's going to be clothing. Oh, so much clothing. And it's, we always say at An Affair of the Heart, you can find everything you need to get ready for the holidays from decor to gifts to things to serve with at your holiday party or things to wear to your holiday party. Well, yeah, and let's go ahead. And that picture, that is not a photo. No, that's it? a painting. Wow. Uh, Penny from Treasured Possessions hand paints custom animal photos. She's got ones you can just purchase in her booth, but she hand paints custom orders too if you'd like yeah. to purchase something of your own pet. And again, I'm not sure the camera does it justice, but that is an incredible painting because every little hair and every little part of the dog's mouth is really captured there. She does a great job. Really so what else can we expect to see? Are you going to have chairs for the guys? <laughs> there there are a few chairs. We've got great food. That's one thing I didn't grab. Great gourmet food. If you're going to a potluck or need to serve some people in your house, you know, pre-dinner or something, some great little dips you can mix up, some soups. Um, we've got some great casseroles that are great for a um, busy December day that if you just want to whip up dinner in like 20 minutes. Um, jewelry, furniture, recycled and repurposed things, handcrafted things, boutique items. It, you really, if you want to find it, you probably can. How did the show get part. started? It was um, a group of eight women that just had a love of small businesses and shopping and wanted to put together a show that really could bring in people and show off their craft and their skill and their business acumen and just really kind of show off. We have vendors from 20 states coming in and, to the show. But you're still shopping locally right? We call it shopping locally on a grand scale. I think we have something like 275 vendors from Oklahoma, but then the rest are from the surrounding states and the rest of the nation, but they're all small business. So it's that shop small, even though it might be, it's kind of like shopping on Etsy. It might be someone from Nebraska or New York or California, but they're all small business owners. They might be artists or boutique owners or craftsmen. And almost 300 are from Oklahoma. That's mm -hmm. the part I like. Yeah. Yeah. And you guys just received an award. Tell me about that. We did. Um, we were in two th the end of 2000. 2016, they named us the number one craft show in um, in the state, the number one craft and boutique show in the nation. Yeah, um, I, I would. I mean, these things certainly are craft, and artisans have done them all. But uh, it's really, really 
it's a lot more hip, isn't it? It is. It's not your grandmother's craft show anymore. Yeah, it's, no kidding. There's a little bit of um, the holdout, but there's super new and trendy things too. Well, it's beautiful. And thanks so much, Kristen, for Thank coming for in and telling us about it. This weekend, right? The hours are 9 to 6 today and tomorrow, and then on Sunday, 11 to 5. And admission is $10 at the door, and each ticket is good for all three days. Kids under 12, they get in free. Kristen, thanks for joining thanks for us. us. Good luck. Thank it's you. It's going to be great.